The potential of the Boring Company is insane. The fact they can build tunnels for between 1-10% to the cost of traditional tunnels is a game changer and opens up a plethora of new applications of transport. So let's explore what impact the Boring Company could have. Currently road transport is the most expensive form of transporting goods from A to B, but it's necessary, as rail and shipping is not available or convenient everywhere. Even in a semi-truck there's still going to be traffic with lots of stopping and starting and speed limits, all of which increase the time of delivery. The same is true for passengers. There are traffic lights, stop signs, traffic, built up areas, school zones. Just because your car can go 200km an hour doesn't mean you can simply leave your house, put your foot down on the accelerator and head to your destination as fast as possible. But in a purpose-built tunnel that goes from point A to point B directly with no other stops, travelling above 150 miles an hour would make travelling so much easier, less hassle and obviously save an immense amount of time. There is no traffic, no stopping, no lights, no stop signs, no need to slow down. You can just go maximum speed the entire way. For an economy, you want to utilise your citizens' time as best as possible. Having them sit in the car doing nothing for an hour or more a day is totally wasted when they could be spending more hours at work or spending more money in shops. It all contributes to the economy. It facilitates commerce. Businesses can get around to see customers in less time. Goods can be delivered faster for more convenience. For a nation, it is an economic advantage to get citizens from point A to point B as fast as possible. This is what the Boring Company offers. So how does it work? Well, there'll be no manual driving required or even possible within the tunnel. You'll be self-driven the entire way. There should be no way for the driver to disengage FSD. Now, the initial concept was that each car would be on a skate, but this has been updated since, and instead there'll be tracking wheels that act as stabilizers to keep you in place on the track. This will eventually make for a very smooth travel. The tracking wheels can be added after market and should be costing around two to $300. Boring Company is aiming for speeds around 150 miles an hour or around 250 kilometers an hour, which is fast, I can assure you, having once driven 270 kilometers an hour in the autobahns myself in a BMW M6. The FSD would likely have to be Tesla's, or maybe just approved by the Boring Company if anyone else came out with an alternative. Elon says this is not just for Tesla and designed for other cars to use. I'm sure it would only let you enter the tunnel if you have sufficient battery to make it to the end of the tunnel, and obviously only suitable for electric cars. There shouldn't even be any need to brake in these tunnels, as the Tesla should be able to slow down itself with regenerative braking. Brake dust doesn't get nearly as much attention as the carbon emissions, but it's also just as toxic as diesel particles. Some research is finding that pollution from brake dust might be contributing to the high numbers of chest infections and froggy city throats that are reported by people living and working in urban areas. Now, you might wonder how the semi-truck is going to get through the boring tunnel to transport goods, as it looks like it might be a bit too big, and of course it is. So that's a shame, as it would have been ideal for transporting goods quickly and affordable, unless they've come up with a better solution. Well, with it being an Elon Musk company, of course they have. It's genius. You simply put a shipping container on a skate and off it goes to its destination. Shipping containers are all standard size and they do fit within the tunnel, just. Elon has recently announced on the Joe Rogan show that the Cybertruck will be 3% smaller. This is so it can fit in the boring tunnel easier. So what does that tell you? Obviously, they have big plans for the boring tunnel in time. So how would the boring company make money? Well, I imagine they'd be treated like toll roads. Every time you enter a tunnel, the price is deducted from your Tesla account or something. And I wouldn't have thought it would cost that much money. But remember, the tax you pay in gasoline is also contributing to the cost of the roads anyway. This is just a more direct way of paying for what you use, and I would think likely a lot cheaper. It looks like they will last longer than roads too, and not require constant repair work. On the other hand, there might also be some privately owned tunnels. For example, maybe Walmart, wants tunnels from their main distribution hub to all their stores, and they pay Boring Company for this. And of course, possibly the government might pay the Boring Company to build some tunnels for the public, which just comes out of tax dollars. So what are the downsides? Well, currently the tunnel still takes a long time to make tunnels, but Boring have already made improved versions of their machines, getting faster and more efficient each time. It sounds like they're about as fast as a snail now, which is pretty fast compared to traditional tunnel making speeds at about 1 15th the pace of a snail, but if this is going to replace roads, they need to increase the speed further. The Proofrock version of Boring Machine has initially been designed to tunnel greater than one mile a week, with the longer term goal of tunneling at one tenth of a human walking speed, which is seven miles per day, and that will be amazing.
Obviously, its best use case is for densely populated urban areas that have a large amount of traffic. Cities like Los Angeles, New York, Chicago, Paris, or London. Wouldn't it be incredible to travel around those cities at 150 miles an hour? These cities are three-dimensional. Buildings can be built higher, whereas roads are pretty much two-dimensional. If you want more lanes, you have to make them wider. However, tunnels can be three-dimensional and can go deeper than buildings can go high. The deepest mines are deeper than the tallest buildings are high, so there is no limit. Whether it's snowing, raining, or even a hurricane, tunnels are immune to weather. If you're in a tunnel, you are safe and secure. And even in earthquakes, believe it or not, you can't see, hear, or feel any construction on the surface, unlike all other roadworks. Compared to how traditional tunnels are built, a single lane tunnel is 26 or 28 feet in diameter to allow for crashes, emergency vehicles, and ventilation. Boring are able to get down to 12 feet diameter with plenty of room to get an electric skate through. Traditional tunnel machines spend 10 minutes mining per hour as the rest of the time is spent installing the reinforcements and deploying all the logistics along with dirt removal. The boring company uses the dirt it digs out of the tunnel to form the concrete for the reinforcing segments by adding some cement and steel so it's created on site and turns the remaining waste into bricks that are even stronger than traditional bricks and used for affordable housing projects. The boring machine is electric, which compared to diesel locomotives are problematic in a tunnel as they absorb all the oxygen and create noxious gas. Where most projects cost over 1 billion per mile and take three to six months per mile, the boring company plans to do it for a fraction of the time and the cost. Musk said that the 1.14 mile test tunnel in Hawthorne cost them only about $10 million and they have yet to implement most of their cost and time saving ideas. Aside from the test tunnel in Hawthorne LA, there are other boring company projects too. One was for the Las Vegas Convention Center, which I believe is now near completion. The boring company are proposing a project for Los Angeles that would transport baseball fans and concert goers directly to the Dodger Stadium from the Los Feliz, East Hollywood or Rampart Village neighborhoods. The boring company is proposing a project on the East Coast from downtown DC to Baltimore beneath New York Avenue and the Baltimore Washington Parkway. And in discussions with the mayor of Miami that the boring company could dig a two mile tunnel under the city for as little as $30 million, a fraction of the $1 billion price tag once quoted by local transit officials. Musk also told the mayor that the boring company could complete the job in six months versus the original four year estimate. And Elon still has plans for his Hyperloop, except it will be deployed in underground tunnels. The Hyperloop is an ultra high speed underground public transportation system in which passengers are transported at 600 miles an hour or more within a vacuum sealed tunnel. Whereas Loop is just used for shorter intracity routes, Hyperloop will be used for longer intercity routes. The Boring Company's current tunnels are designed and built in preparation for their eventual transition to Hyperloop. The Hyperloop tunnels could even be connected to islands underwater, maybe even continents. Imagine being able to drive from New York to London. They're only about 3,000 miles apart. If you're capable of going 600 miles an hour, then you could be there in five hours. Although you would likely require rest areas along the way. Really, there is no telling what this could mean. It makes the world smaller and easier to navigate. It sounds like Tesla's electric jet isn't going to be likely. And with the Boring Company as an alternative, then perhaps it's not necessary. It's certainly exciting to see how Boring can reshape the world and finally reduce traffic. Thanks for listening. Please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.